prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our preparations this season of Lent, we are called by God to fidelity in service to Him. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. 
Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. May, must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your rust from them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from my every side as they consult together against me plotting to take my life save me O Lord in your kindness but my trust is in you O Lord I say you are my God in your hands is my destiny rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors save me O Lord in your kindness please stand Ang sabi ng buong mahal sa daigdig ako'y ilaw kapag ako ay sinundan ang dilim ay mapapalam at sa aking mabubuhay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons, and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters.
Jesus suffered pain and suffering not only with his physical or bodily wounds, but he also suffered the consequences of the sinfulness of man. Ang pagdurusa po ni Jesus ay hindi lamang po sa mga sugat niya sa katawan. Dinusa rin ni Jesus, nagdusa rin siya sa mga paghihirap dahil sa kasalanan ng tao. One of which is the sin of betrayal. Ang pagtaksilan ka ng iyong kapwa. Masakit po yun, ano? Kapag ikaw ay pinagtaksilan, kapag ikaw ay ipinagpalit, kapag ikaw ay ibinenta sa ibang tao, lalo na ng iyong mga kaibigan, masakit pong pagdurusa yan. At si Jesus ay naranasan din yan. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, we see here an image also of betrayal. When Jeremiah was uh, plotted against by the citizens of Judah and Jerusalem, they plotted to kill him, to betray Jeremiah. And so Jeremiah appealed to God and told him how much it hurts. He said, Remember that I stood before you to speak on their behalf. Hindi ba nila naaalala na ako bilang propeta ay ipinagdasal sila para sa Diyos? Pero ano ang ipinalit nila? They betrayed me. And that is also the experience of Jesus in our gospel reading today. When after spending time with His 12 disciples, in our gospel passage today, the sons of Zebedee went forward to Jesus and asked Him if they could sit at the right and left in the kingdom of Jesus. Jesus felt betrayed. Imagine, Jesus has been spending time with them, serving other people, serving the poor, serving the sick, and then in the end, they have not learned the lesson of Jesus. They still had their ambitions for themselves. Jesus felt betrayed. Parang masakit kay Jesus. Pagkatapos niyang samahan yung labing dalawang apostol, ipinakita sa kanila ang tunay na paglilingkod sa kapwa. Sa huli, ang gusto pa rin nila ay sila ang mamumuno, sila ang maipopwesto ni Jesus. Kaya sa tingin ni Jesus, para akong nasaktan Pagkatapos kong ipakita sa inyo ang tunay na paglilingkod, puro ambisyon pa rin ang nasa isip. This is one of the pains that Jesus suffered. Betrayal. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time of our political engagement, we have been declaring our loyalty to many people. Siguro po naririnig ninyo ngayon sa mga balita at siguro tayo-tayo rin sa ating mga sarili. Nag-e-express na tayo ng ating loyalty sa ating mga kandidato. Ah, loyal ako kay ganito. No? 
loyal ako kay ganyan, no? siya ang aking kandidato. But let us see and ask ourselves, are you ready to betray Jesus just to stay loyal to your candidate? Ang bilis nating mag-declare ng loyalty sa mga tao, kaya rin kaya nating gawin kay Jesus yan. Baka mabilis tayo masyado mag-declare ng loyalty sa mga kandidato natin, pero kayang-kaya nating pagtaksilan si Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters, in our Eucharistic celebration today, let us be reminded of this. One of the pains of Jesus was the betrayal against him by many people. And in this time of our political activity, political engagement, baka sabihin ni Jesus, ang bilis niyo naman akong pagtaksilan <laughs> dahil lang sa, sa eleksyon, nakalimutan niyo na ako. Nitong pandemic, lagi kayong nasa akin at nagdarasal. Nung eleksyon na, goodbye Jesus na. No? Kalimutan niyo na ang itinuro ni Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, in this time, let us ask ourselves, are we still faithful and loyal to Jesus? Let us not easily betray Him just because of our loyalty to men. In this Mass, let us pray that we might become loyal and faithful to Jesus and His teachings. Amen. Please stand. Mindful of the words of Jesus that the greatest is the one who serves, we pray to God, our Father, for a true spirit of service among all people. For every petition, let us say, Lord, make us true servants. Lord, make, make us, us true, true servants. servants. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us true, true servants. servants. That government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That we may realize the success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, endured in union with Christ, can be turned into a great blessing let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us true servants. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make us true servants. servants that the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our healing rosary for tonight will be hosted by the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of San Jose de Navotas in Navota City. And so we invite all of you again tonight at 9 p.m. Let us pray the healing rosary for the world and let us continue to offer our healing rosary for peace in the world, especially peace in Ukraine. This morning, the Holy Father announced that he will be consecrating Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary this coming March 25. And so we invite all of you to join us in the prayer of the Healing Rosary this evening. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity and make them always devoted to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Nakatakot sa krus ni Jesus Kristo.